Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Healthy Happy Hour. I am so glad that you have joined us today. We are going to have a great time learning about how we can eat those foods that everybody tells us are really bad for us. My guest today has lost over a, almost 100 pounds eating foods that we're told don't touch. Don't touch the carbs. Don't touch the pizza and the pasta and the potatoes and those things. I've gotten to know her over the last few months. I've met her in person. So she's an in real life friend. We've done some work together. I'm so excited about you guys getting to know her because her story is fascinating and the, what she has to share with you is going to be absolutely amazing. So please share with your friends, bring people in, go ahead and share this episode, comment down below, let us know that you're here. I'll be featuring some of your comments and your questions. So we're going to have a great time. With that, I want to introduce you to my good friend, Jean Schumacher. Jean, say hello. Hey, thank you for having me here. Oh, so delighted to finally bring you in. I've been wanting to get you on for quite some time because your story is just amazing. So let's dig back into your story. You know, take me back a few years ago. You were a lot heavier than you are now. What was oh, going yeah. on in your life? Well, you know, basic things, just normal living. Um, you know, I had gained a lot of weight and weight has always been an issue throughout my entire life. Um, not so much when I was young, but with my family. I mean, both sides of my family are extraordinarily heavy and it's just, uh, just part of our, on both sides, my mother and father's side of the family is extraordinarily heavy, uh, morbidly obese for many, many, many of the family members. So it's something that has been part of our family and it's just been part of our existence and, so, you know, it's, I've always fought it, you know, from pretty much from the time I, I had a horseback riding accident and that kind of laid me up. <clears throat> and, uh, from that point on, I started gaining a lot of weight because it wasn't, I wasn't able to be active. So from that point, it, it's been, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down. I would lose weight, gain it, get, come back. I've, I've tried every diet, everything known to mankind. Seriously. So the weight just comes back. Because it's, you're not changing, it's, you're not changing your lifestyle. You, you have to change it and make it a lifestyle decision. So that's kind of what I did. And, and, you know, I think in some ways though, I, I hit a brick wall. And I think a lot of us have to come to that realization is that we have to change our, our health destiny in many ways. And I got very sick. This was shortly after I got married, round two. And so this is it. Round two, we're done. <laughs> okay. So the, uh, shortly after we got married, I had 105 feet degree fever and I went to the emergency room and they put me right in to the hospital and I was there for a week and they never did figure out what, it was some kind of infection and I really don't care what it was or what it don't know. They never figured it out. My blood pressure was off the charts, like 250 over 150. It was ridiculous. I should have had a stroke, but I, I didn't, you know, I, I, I don't know. The good Lord must be up there thinking, ah, I got plans for this woman. <laughs> so <laughs> we got to have her hit this brick wall first, but okay, fine. Well, we'll pick the pieces up and put them back together. And, and, uh, so after, I mean, I was never so sick in the hospital that week and that week in the hospital alone with just the drugs they gave me and a week in the hospital was over $30,000. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One week. That's it. So, and good news was the woman who treated me was not only a medical doctor, but she was a nutritionist as well, which is such a rare combination. Seriously. After I got out, I mean, she kept asking me, you know, as throughout my stay in the hospital, what are you eating? What, you know, what do you consume? What, you know, and her big focus was on, on food and I, and really, you know, what else did I have to do except lay there and sweat and chill and shake? And, you know, uh, and I started processing a lot of what she said and it started to resonate with me. And I thought it was pretty good, you know, apart from being overweight and, you know, whatever. But my health in general was pretty good up to this point. And I was always very physically active. But this really made me think. And I'm like, hmm, OK. So this was almost 10 years ago. So she started me on prevent and reverse heart disease. And I read that book and then never looked back. And then Forks Over Knives came out, you know, not long after that. 
And that doubled, that reiterated everything that I was, was living, eating, breathing. And so it was a journey from there, you know. Mm, you were so fortunate that you had a medical professional that was really focused on this issue. I mean, yeah. you go back to the to Hippocrates, let food yeah. be thy medicine. We've Absolutely. just gotten so far off from that over the years in our current mo modern medical practices. Uh, not that I'm a medical doctor or a nutritionist or, you know, a, a healthcare professional. I'm just somebody who has also lost a lot of weight and they learned have. a lot about nutrition along the way. I really had to really had to learn. And yeah. so I just know there's so much misinformation out there. That's why I love being bringing people yeah. like you on board who have learned a lot the hard way oh. and actually now sharing that information with others, which we're going to get into in just a little bit, but let's take a little bit more into, um, you know, on a practical basis, what did you change? What are you doing now? Well, you know, what, what's your life like as a now having lost almost a hundred pounds because of your new lifestyle? Well, it's changed my life. I mean, completely in so many ways. I mean, first of all, just for my social network of friends, I mean, it's not like I've given up my old friends, but my friends that are like my age, not to say that I'm this marathon person that I can go out. I, mean, I don't do marathons. Nancy, my partner in crime. Yeah, she's the crazy one that goes out and runs. OK, yeah, no, no, this is not a running person here. Forget that. Yeah, no, uh -uh. I'll power walk. Oh, that's it. But uh, I like to bike and kayak and hike and, and things like that. But you're not going to get me out running. Sorry. Uh -uh, not going to happen. Unless somebody's chasing me and it's a life-threatening situation, you're not getting me out there running. Sorry. So anyway, but um, but it's changed it. But not to say that I'm this, this ultra, you know, in shape, fit person. No, I'm not. And But people my age in my group of friends from before, they're all sick. They they can't keep up with me. They can't do the things that I can do. So it's really tough to connect with them, you know, except when I do call them and, you know, and then I have to hear the litany of, of oh, my God, I just had another stroke or, you know, oh, I just got diabetes. I just got diagnosed with diabetes or, you know, oh, I got the diagnosis for cancer, which is going to change your life. I mean, whoa. I mean, not in a good way. But I mean, I, and then these are the conversations. It's like, uh, hey, did anything good happen this week? I mean, seriously, you know, and, and that's the conversations. I mean, they're just, they're very depressing conversations. And it's like, wow, you know, and, you know, I try and help them as long as, as much as I can. But, you know, unless you're ready to change and you're willing to make that, that, that change in your life, it's, you know, they're still stuck in that, that mentality of, of, Oh my God, you know, I'm sick and I, I can't, won't change. I can't get, he I can't heal my body, but you can. And I don't know, but the people that I started to connect with in my, my friend circle has expanded tremendously. And, and I've connected with so many vibrant people like yourself, you know, that, that really embrace life, are happy to be alive. And I mean, there was a quote, and I don't know who said this quote, but I've kind of like, make it made it my own because you know we're not living longer we're dying slower and mm. if you think about it you know people that you know like my mother-in-law we just she passed um at the age of 79 at the age of 72 she went into a nursing home for alzheimer's at 72 okay mm. And as in, in retrospect, because I'm doing this series with Dr. Neil Barnard on power foods for the brain. I mean, in retrospect, I can see everything why she got Alzheimer's. I mean, and it's totally, it's, it's preventable. Not when she gets into the nursing home, you can't fix that. I mean, once you're there, that's it. We're done. But if you want to fix it so that you don't get it, you can. So I see just in retrospect, all the things that she did wrong. And I understand why she got it, but in, in just to watch this progression of her, it took her seven years for her body to finally shut down. Her brain was gone because she couldn't remember. She couldn't, she didn't know who she was, didn't know the family, didn't know anybody. And it was just so sad to see this and to watch my husband watch his mother decompose in front of him. You know, it's just, it's so heart wrenching. 
and it, it's coming. There's more people coming. And just, just apart from the emotional and physical and mental, there's all these pieces. I mean, how it impacts the family financially. She went in and, and it wasn't a, a, you know, a more expensive area. It was in Pennsylvania. So it's not like New York City prices. She went in at $4,000 a month. And at the end of her stay, it was almost to 9000 Okay. So excuse me, I got to plug in. <laughs> and if Nancy were here, she would be making fun of me right now. Because I didn't plug in. I told her to plug in. Okay. So I plugged <laughs> in my computer. We're good. We're not going to shut down or anything. Okay, good. All right. So, but who's going to pay for this? You know, this, this up, upcoming huge influx of baby boomers that are going to be hitting the nursing home. And, and who, cause you need 24 seven care for somebody who's got Alzheimer's. They can't take care of themselves. They have no clue who they are, where they are. I mean, I mean, and leading up to this point, it just didn't, it, you know, Alzheimer's, you just didn't, didn't happen overnight. I mean, it was a progression, you know, to the point where she was becoming dangerous to herself. You know, she would get up in the middle of the night and go get out, get up, go out the door and start walking. And you'd have no, she would have no clue where she was. And, you know, the police would have to bring her back a couple of times. Hello, you know, we've lost our mother again. Um, can you find her? Or, or she'd be in the car. And next thing you know, you'd stop at a light and she'd jump out of the car and start taking off in the middle of traffic, like on four lane highways, you know, and she'd take off. It's like, I, why she didn't get hit, I had, you know, to this day, I don't know, you know, her guardian angel was protecting her, but you just wonder, I mean, you know, at what point it, it was, it was tough all the way around. I can't even begin to tell you how, how, how hard that was to, to watch her to do that. Um, oh, I, so, I can, I can imagine my um, partner's, partner's fa father, father, father and mother, and mother did have Alzheimer's and um, they were already in homes by the time, well, she was already in a home by the time it, you know, kicked in with her. So it was really sad and tragic. And, you mm -hmm. know, people will say Alzheimer's runs in the family, but I really like the way Dr. Greger says it. I know he's somebody that you mm -hmm. follow and somebody that I follow too. He says, um, these conditions don't run in the family. Diets run in the family. And he goes into a lot of detail on that. And my favorite book, I have to show oh, this on yes. the episode. You guys have to get this book. How Not to Die, Fabulous. It's a really fantastic book. And, Fabulous. you know, let me, let me bring us back around because, you know, through the conversation, you've been talking about heart disease and, and cancer and Alzheimer's and some other issues. And I'm sure a lot of people are out there saying, well, how does that all tie together and what can we do about it? I think it, you know, my mother had breast cancer, so I might get breast cancer. I'm probably going to get it. It's just a matter of time. What What would you say to those folks? Well, there's, first of all, you know, going back to like say breast cancer runs in your family. Okay, fine. Maybe the genes do. And there's and I like this. You know, genes. There's two types of genes. Ones are expressed. You know, the ones that say, okay, you're going to have blonde hair, blue eyes. Those are expressed. But the rest of the genes that are in your family that are in your whole mantra within your body itself, I think of them as committees. And whether they get turned on or expressed or not is going to be dependent upon the food that you eat, the environment that you live in, the chemicals that you're exposing yourself to. Because one of the things that, that uh, Nancy and I teach about is what we call the trifecta approach. Because you have to change what goes in, which is the food and the drink, you have to change what goes on, which is the environmental toxins, you know, personal care products, um, laundry detergent. Uh, are you using air fresheners in your home? The chemicals you're being exposed to on a day to day basis within your house. And then you also have to increase your physical activity. You have to do that. You have to move your body. So we teach about what we call the trifecta approach. So but whether or not the breast cancer gets expressed or not in your family is going to depend upon the food, the drink, the environmental toxins, and whether you exercise or not. That's what's going to determine whether these, these genes get expressed or not. Hmm. 
Mm, okay. And you mentioned Nancy. I know about this wonderful venture that you guys have together called the Starch Queens. So let's talk about you and Nancy and why this thing is called the Starch Queens and why are you called the Starch Queen of Diamonds? Well, um, let's go back to you know how Nancy and I met. We met through social media. We met through uh, right after Plant Your Nation came out. We had connected through one of the, the Facebook groups. And when Plant Pure Nation came out, they were asking for people to step up as, as pod leaders or group leaders. And I immediately signed up. And I think she signed up, you know, like we were about, about the same time, signed up on the same day. I mean, and, and connected with Plant Pure Nation because we're like, yeah, we need to be on this. We need to be connecting with Plant Pure Nation. So right after that, I started working on a curriculum. And if you go to startquins.net, there is under teaching resources, there's a curriculum that I have written. I'm a teacher. I'm an educator. That's what my doctorate's in is curriculum instructions in science, science education, chemistry, environmental science, biology. I mean, in that whole genre. So I've created this curriculum for people that if they want to share this message, it's there. I've made the teacher's notes. I've created the, the actual lectures on Prezi. I love Prezi. It's like a PowerPoint on steroids. Yay. Love it. So it's there for you to use. And so Nancy and I connected with a group of other people and we just loved, you know, we loved our work ethic and, and we connected there. And then uh, I started doing these 10 day challenges and it started out with a friend of mine locally and we were whining on the phone to each other because we'd hit plateaus, you know, and you lose weight. When you go plant-based, you lose weight very quickly. And if I hear one more person go, oh, yeah, I went plant-based and lost 400 pounds overnight, I'm going to kill them because that was not my journey ever, <laughs> you know, just no. So my fat and I have been together for a long time and it doesn't want to give up the mothership. So here it is. I'm still battling it, you know, and it's in, and I've lost a lot and I still have more to go. It's a journey. So every day it's, it's, I'm living it. So I said, okay, all right, game on girlfriend, 10 days, let's do this. And we did it, you know, maximum weight loss based upon like Dr. McDougall's, you know, he's got a great book, but it's old, it's outdated. And some of the information needs to be updated, but we did it based upon that and, and the ideas behind that and caloric density. So at the end of 10 days, and we've made a bet because we both use Pure Haven Essentials, which are products that are not toxic at all which are, they're amazing. And they're, and they're amazing. That's what's the best part about it. So at the end of it, she's like, I said, okay, loser has to buy the winner, whatever they want from the catalog. And she's like, Oh, you're on, let's go. And so I posted this in Facebook and within five minutes, I had three other women who were like, I'm in. And so we had within, within an hour, I mean, we started the next day, we went for 10 days. Then the next day, next time we did it, we had about 11 and then by, you know, it, we did it a couple more times and it kept growing. And then Nancy jumped in and said, okay, I'm challenging plant-based Chico is going to challenge plant-based Westchester. And we divided the country up. <laughs> so east of the Mississippi went to my group, west of the Mississippi went to her group. And we got up to the point where we, were, we each had about a hundred people in the group doing this, these 10 day challenges, which was fantastic. So, and then it got to be too much for us. I mean, so we, then we started creating plant-based towns. So we've got about 27 plant-based towns now around the country. And and some of these plant-based towns are actually now doing 10-day challenges and challenging us. So it's great. It's so much fun. And the people who are who are the, the pod or plant-based group leaders for their towns, we connect on a monthly basis. We connect with an as an admin group. And we just connect with each other and share. We share resources. We share we connect with each other and it's just a vibrant group of people that is just amazing. So now we've got plant-based Chicago in English and Espanol. Emma is amazing. She, and she and I are working on translating one of my lectures into Spanish because she is perfectly bilingual. Now I'm pretty good in Spanish, but whoa, she takes it to Jedi level. She's fluent in both languages and has no accent in either language, which is, you know, kind of, uh, it's not, not the norm. So, so she and I are working on translating one into Spanish. So we've got plant-based Chicago. We've got plant-based Atlanta, Ontario, uh, plant-based Chico, Westchester, and Providence, Rhode Island is going to be joining us for 10 day challenges. Now these are free 10 day challenges. Uh, we do them on the first Monday of the month and the third Monday of the month. Um, and we do it for 10 days. 
And so within we do it in a private secret Facebook group that we add people to. So if you want to connect with us, love to have you. And there's no geography police. And it's like, well, I don't live in, in Westchester. OK, who cares? You know, wherever you are, join us. Love to have you in the challenge. So it's it's absolutely amazing. The the connections and bonding because you're trying to change your life and your lifestyle and it's difficult especially if you don't have support within your family or you're the only person you feel like in your state <laughs> that's doing this no there's other people but through social media the power of social media you can connect with other people and and do this with with other people but since then nancy and i both realized that there was a need for education as well as just not just the support. So we're continuing to do these 10 day free support challenges, but she and I have created a, we call it the search Queens weight loss program. And it's not just because weight loss is a byproduct of this lifestyle, but it, what you also need to be is educated. So we take it to the next level. So we, I create every day, Monday through Friday, an educational topic on say food addiction or emotional eating or we might talk about toxins or oh my gosh let me just let me read down for you what we've covered in february just to give you an idea of uh no this is january as i picked up january's so we did this why why are you doing this preparation how to shop chop and prep moving your health in the right direction exercise toxins don't weigh yourself every day uh, what about pasta flour and refined grains, caloric density, why no oil, believe in yourself, uh, food addiction, non-scale victories, uh, exercise, label reading, how to read a label appropriately, eating out travel strategies, coffee, how alcohol affects your brain and body, intermittent fasting, fiber, heart disease, water, the pleasure trap, gut biome, cancer and how it affects our lives, keep educating yourself, vegan versus plant-based, and then reflection. This is what we covered. These were the topics we covered in one month. Okay. We do four Q and A sessions. We do four webinars. And then Nancy does what we call driving with Nancy in the morning. And she is amazing. I call her the queen of hearts because she's just like, like she's an amazing coach that helps. She just gets inside your head. You know, I'm the queen of diamonds because I want the facts. You know, me and Joe Friday, give me the facts. I'll give you the research. I'm, I'm, I know how to research. I'm good at it. I put together the educational materials and I find everything. I find videos. I find lectures. I find, you know, documents. I put it all together in a, a form, you know, a package. That's the educational part of it. Then she takes that information and does driving with Nancy in the morning. So she puts her camera up on the dashboard. And as she's driving to work, she talks to you, you know, hi, everybody, it's Nancy. So and then she goes into whatever the topic is for the day. And so then we post them up on YouTube and then that goes into our uh, I just finished creating the Starts Queens Weight Loss website. And that's an even full blown version now. And so we put all the information. So, like, if you join this month, you get all the other webinars that we've done, the Q&A's. So you can go back and really educate yourself on these topics. So we've taken it to Jedi level, you know, in terms of educating people. So, you know, it's 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 an amazing program. It really is. So I'm blessed to be able to work with such an amazing work, you know, woman. And I know you helped us set up things in the beginning. You were a great resource because that's what you do is help businesses set up. So kudos to you for helping us to set this up. So, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm so impressed to hear all the different things that you are teaching. I know uh, early on uh, you were sharing with me some of the things that you were planning to teach and I'm thinking, boy, I need to sign up for this course because this is all the stuff that I'm interested in. I know, mm -hmm. I know a certain amount. I know what I know, but you guys have, you know, both of you have many, many years of experience and yeah. helping people and helping yourselves. And so I, I've lost almost 50 pounds, well, a little over 50 pounds uh, on my, as I've been on this journey and it feels great. Uh, you were talking earlier about feeling younger. I mean, I, I really do feel like I've 
sort of a de-aging phase. Like you're saying, you're keeping up with the younger people. That's who I generally am relating to more people who are either actually younger or they, they at least act and think younger. Yes. And yes. Um, so it's, it's really been fantastic. And I'm thrilled to hear about what you guys are doing with the course. I'm going to share your website here. Oh, uh, please do. Give that well, I've got anyway. two. I've got two now. The Starch Queens, you know, starchqueens.net and the sqweightloss.com, which is brand new. So very exciting. Okay. Very exciting. Let's see if this this works. You guys out there that are watching, if you can let me know if you can see the the screen share that we're doing. Technology is that. always fun. Oh, I don't think I don't think I did get that shared. All right, let me try again. There it goes. I see it. Okay. Well, on my end. I see it from my end. All right, good. And we'll see if we can make it larger. There we go. Okay, so we're showing now. I want to show this, which is your website. Wait, website, yep. So uh, lots of great information there where she talked about the Gosh. trifecta approach, yep. the plant under plant-based living. You can see the plant-based towns. Uh, she right. originally talked about the teaching materials. Right. And then what is this? Oh, videos. Oh, my gosh. If you just cl click on videos. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there is so much <laughs> underneath the videos because I've done Kim, Kim Campbell, who is from Plant Pure Nation, who has, in my humble opinion, it's got two of the best cookbooks out there. And I just got to shout out to her because, oh, wow. Yeah, she's amazing. I mean, oh, my God. Seriously. Plant Pure Nation and then the Plant Pure Kitchen. So she and I have a series that we've done together. Um called plant-based living with Kim and Jean and she's amazing. I mean, she'll show me a new technique and I like have to go try it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's great. Well, so um, we have that one. Then I did the series with Dr. Neil Barnard on the cheese trap. We're in the process of power foods for the brain right now. We've done the first two. I've got a ne next one's coming up, I believe next week with Dr. Barnard and then I have to edit it. Um, but this, we've broken that one into six parts of power foods for the brain. Really impressive book. And then we're going into um, Breaking the Food Seduction, his next, his other book um, that, so, and then I want to go into the uh, foods, foods that fight pain. So that's this next book that's coming up, Foods That uh, Fight Pain from Dr. Neil Barnard. So those are the next series I've got coming up with him. And then I did a series with Chef AJ um, on the yeah, but because yeah, but I can't do this because you know, no one's going to support me. Yeah, but it's too expensive. Yeah, but it's this, you know, and that was based on her book on processed. And then there's a ton of educational videos. The first three there are my lectures that I put together and to help you, you know, what is whole food plant based living? How do you begin? And then tips and tricks. So, and then scrolling down is a whole interview series that I've done. Um, and coming up with Dr. Robert Otzfeld, I've got several interviews with him uh, and some of his lectures that he's done. But I've got an interview series coming up with him because he's got a lot. He's very prolific in terms of writing, in terms of cardiology. So he, we've got several articles coming up with him that he's written. And so I've gone through, read the articles, and then we're going to bring it down because some of them are very technical. We're going to bring it down for the average person who is not a cardiologist. <laughs> And uh, to be able to understand these these articles because they're powerful, powerful pieces of research that he's done. So that's coming up with. And then there is um, for Dr. Uh, Dr. McDougal, I did a whole series for him. Um, he wanted simple foods, you know, to show people. So that was Dinner Tonight series. And then I went through and started doing um, from Maximum Weight Loss book. I did a lot of uh, Mary's recipes. And as my tribute to thank Dr. McDougal, for his impact on my life, I started making this, these videos, cooking videos for people, and he has featured them on his website. So you go to drmcdougal.com under recipes, and then it says featured videos. Those are all mine. So, you know, I've, I've, uh, put those on, you know, he's very kindly shared them on his website, but that was my, my, my humble way to say thank you to Dr. McDougal. So there is a ton of, of, resources on this website, you know, and the majority of it's free, you know, that, that we do. But I do want to point out to you under the weight loss program, if you go under weight loss program and the, the videos, the, the recipe videos, if you can go there under the weight loss program and under recipe video packages. So what I've been doing now is taking, cause I, 
broke my teeth on how to edit and create cooking videos. So now I've created these recipe video packages. So package number one has, and it features all the recipes. You can see the pictures of the food there. And it shows you, you get the cooking video, which is usually about a one to two minute uh, version that I've you know condensed down for you on how to make this. But then you get the recipe. So you can print the recipe out to your heart's content once you buy this package. It's $9.99 for all of these recipes that you get. I teach you how to you like batch cook potatoes in the Instant Pot, batch cook rice, because a lot of people don't know how to use the Instant Pot. And I teach you these cooking techniques and how to use them. And then uh, you get the recipes. So you can print out the recipes, make your shopping list, go shopping. If you make all this food for one week, you're going to be set. So, you know, and then if you scroll down, there's where I just posted the second video package. And oh my God, I have to tell you those banana, banana oat balls. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That was born out of sheer desperation because if you come to my house in my wellness center, as I call my kitchen, you're not going to find, you know, anything except weight loss, you know, just whole foods. That's it. You know, cause I'm on a weight loss journey. So it was out of sheer desperation. <laughs> so, so I started playing around with the air fryer and wow. Came up with this amazing, amazing, amazing recipe. So you get all of those um, recipes in there uh, for for nine ninety nine. So you can get that, and you know we send them out to you right away. So yeah, and all of these are what we call uh, you know Starch Queens compliant for for the Starch Queens weight loss program. So pretty tasty stuff. So there's just so much there, and you know a lot of research. You know from the medical doctors, there's tons of resources. You know, again, um, documents that I've created along the way to help you. You know, people have asked me, you know, like, what vitamin B12 do you take? And, you know, whatever. So I show them. Um, so there you are. Oh, that's fantastic. Boy, really fantastic information. Those banana oat balls sound oh. awesome. Wow. Uh, and I know on your YouTube channel, you have thousands of subscribers, right? I'm over 12,000 at this point. Um, Ooh, I've got, that's I know, amazing. I know. And I've got, uh, I'm, I'm working right now with a, a gentleman from, uh, Bristol Video Productions who is going to help me with my website or my YouTube channel because he's like, you're not maximizing it. And I'm like, really? So hmm. he's going to help me with that and, uh, take my, ne- my YouTube channel to the next level. So I'm excited about that. And, but, you know, I just put out there the videos. I mean, there's all the lectures, all the, you know, the, 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 the Q and A's, especially we're doing um, Tuesday night. We call it Talking Tuesdays with the Starch Queen. That's, it's, we do it at uh, eight o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Pacific. And it's live on Facebook and we take your questions. You know, anybody can join us. We're on, we, we launch from the Starch Queen's uh, Facebook page. And we go live, but then I download that and record it and then upload it to my YouTube channel. So if you're not on Facebook, because a lot of people are not on Facebook, um, but have sub- subscribed to my YouTube channel. So they'll get, and you know, you get, when you subscribe, you get notified when I upload a new video. So I've got a bunch of things coming up that I've got to upload. <laughs> I'm behind in my, my editing. <laughs> anyway. Well, that sounds great. I want to put that in the comments. Um, you said you do this broad live Q and A when? Tuesday nights. Talking Tuesdays with the Stars Queens. So it's the Q&A on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock, cent- or 5 o'clock Pacific. So we do that Tuesday nights. And it is, we have a lot of fun. And we take the, we take the questions first from people that are in our Starch Queens programs. So we answer your questions first. But then, you know, anybody who has questions within the audience, we try and answer those. And I'll tell you, if I don't have an answer, I'll tell you, I don't have an answer. I'll find out and I'll research it. And then next Tuesday, I'll have an answer for you. So, you know, I try and, and you know, I'm not going to make up something just to sound like I know. No, I'll be the first to go. Yeah, I don't know. But I'll find out. Okay. I see that your partner in prosperity, Nancy, is out in the audience. Hello, Nancy Norby Matthews. So glad you could join us. And I I think I'm going to be interviewing you in the next few weeks to be talking about your story and your journey, because I know it's absolutely amazing, too. Yes, it is. It is. It is. And she's now starting to have an impact on her family. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm still, my family still is, is resistant and it's, it's frustrating. Uh, call them the carnivores and it's, 
difficult when we get together because we do get together for family events and it's tough. And I have, you know, come up with strategies on how to deal with that. And, you know, I've kind of modified my strategies over the years. So now I just bring foods, you know, in the beginning, I would spend like two days in the kitchen and bring like, you know, enough food for an army just to make sure that I had food that it was, I was compliant with. But, you know, now I just bring an hors d'oeuvre, you know, something that I can have so I can at least have something there. And then I'll bring a salad because everybody eats salad in our family. Okay. And then I'll bring the plant pure nation. And if you've not seen these foods from plant pure nation, Oh my God, I have them. We get the, the, the trays and we'll just bring the mini hot logics and they have the mini hot logics now have the nine by 13. So two of those trays fit perfectly in there, zip it up. We plug it in when we get there. And then my husband and I, have have a meal so that's what we eat for the main course and then i'll bring my chocolate peanut butter pie because everybody loves that and it's a higher caloric density thing and everybody loves that and i can have a little one and and i'm okay with that now so that's my survival strategies oh that's brilliant absolutely brilliant you know go back to the plant pure nation foods because oh. i'm just so impressed with what they're doing oh my These gosh are kim campbell talking about her earlier kim campbell's um creations and i was so delighted the other day i was in uh, my local Publix, and i and i'd heard that they were in Publix, but i normally have my groceries delivered so i hadn't gone in there and i saw them in the frozen foods i know that i can go online and and order them they're really inexpensive they make life so easy they're so much healthier than you know what you can get from nutrisystem and you know those other companies that have the foods that are filled with oil filled with sodium filled Mm -hmm. with preservatives i know you're an expert in this area you could go on about it probably for days but it's and they're delicious and they're amazing they're not spicy enough for you you can spice it up a little bit i like to add a little uh tabasco sauce or chili garlic sauce or something like that uh, but those are really fantastic to to share for my husband he loves them loves them they're husband approved so i used to like when i would go away because i'm you know in the summertime i have time off you know more than he does and so i'd be off you know and so before i used to cook for days and then freeze everything. And I'd come back and it'd all be in the freezer. And I'm like, why didn't you eat the food? And he's like, oh, well, it was, you know, I just ate out. I'm like, really? So I stopped cooking. Ugh. So I buy those. <laughs> he likes those entrees. He'll take them, put them in a little mini hot logic and he heats them up and he can handle that. Cause he, he's not a cook. He does not like to be in the kitchen. He likes to have food arrive in front of him. And you know, when I'm not there to, arrive it in front of him then he's okay with taking the dish he can handle that out of the freezer put it into the mini hot logic we're good so he their husband approved he i don't think there's one he doesn't like i mean he like you know we just get the multi-pack that you know i think it's if you buy 20 it's a cheaper so we just bought a little we went to home depot and bought a freezer a little small you know space freezer because they are bulky in size because it's a pound of food it is a pound of food that you're getting. It's incredible. So that, that's a good point. You, um, they do take up a lot of space. And I, my yes. freezer, I have two, I have two refrigerators, so two freezers. So they were quite full, but um, it's certainly worth it. And then it makes it so yeah. easy. Just pop no. these in and I yeah. and know that you're eating something that's healthy, nourishing. It's yeah. it's not going to, um, you know, they're not filled with the cholesterol and the saturated fats, the yeah. issues that you're, go- you know, causing the problems that you're going to get with the cancer and Alzheimer's right. and right. Um, lung disease and all these different uh, diabetes and high blood pressure, all these things. You can eat these and they're inexpensive. They're yeah. really very inexpensive. Look at that. Yeah. For two people, I'm looking at uh, $20, 20 frozen meals. $160. So that's less than $10 for two people, less than $5 a person. I mean, the numbers are crazy. I know. They're insane. They're insane. So, I mean, for, for a, a, you know, a great price for amazing food. I just went to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, bought just this little space freezer that can easily hold, you know, because we order 20 at a time. When we get low, eh, eh, call up, you know, we put another order in and we get another 20, batch of 20. And we, you know, use them for, especially for traveling, 
they, they're awesome. You know, if we're going for a day trip or whatever, or if we're going to the carnivores, then I don't have to sit there and cook, you know, and, and try and impress them and sit there and, and get 20 questions about, well, what is this? What's in the ingredients? And what, you know, how does it, uh, I hated that. I, I felt like I was in the, you know, the grand inquisition about f- it's food. Just eat it. Shut up and eat it. You know, <laughs> Oh my goodness. But let's just, um, I want to, I want to get people really excited about these dishes. Um, yeah. Thai drunken veggies, the African oh. stew, the Asian stewed tofu yep. and uh, garden sesame nettle uh, noodles, nachi with sweet potato. Now let's go back to out, your, they keep coming back with more. They keep coming out with more. I mean, they're just incredible. So I, I can't say enough about them. Um, their evolution, they've gone through many, many changes since they first launched this. And every time, you know, I think it's better, you know, like each time we get another order and like, and I, and I'll text Kim. Oh my God, Kim. Wow. Whatever you did, this is another, this is even better. Whatever you did, I'll text her and tell her. It's like, they're incredible. She, she just keeps getting them. It makes them better, you know, and they're, they keep getting perfected better and better and better. And each time, I mean, it's been a journey. So from the beginning, I thought they were good, but now it's like they've taken it to Jedi level and it's like, wow. So, yeah. And Nancy has mentioning in the comments that it's even better financially because, yeah, I saw that the other day. I'm like, really? That's amazing. So wow. they have a subscription program for $10 per month yes. and that gives you even a greater discount. So it's amazing. Yep. Yep. Well, let's relate, you know, so if I signed up for your weight loss program right can i eat these program the eat these foods on on your program um generally not because oh. i know right and kim and i've had this conversation because the you know these foods are targeted to people that are trying to transition from the sad diet you know the standard american diet so they tend to have a little bit higher fats um that they use like like a, a cashew cream or things like that um, so they have nuts in there to give it the flavor, the mouth feel that we, we tend to like and, and associate. But, you know, and some of these are, are, could be okay. Um, in, cause they're lower caloric density. Some of them are, but in general, like, cause we get the variety package. And, and again, these, you know, for my husband are great, um, because he doesn't need to lose weight, but I'm still on the weight loss program. So these wouldn't be a good choice for that. Um, just because they do use a little bit higher amount and we also don't use sugar. You know, in, 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 we try and eliminate that. I mean, I know it's very difficult for a lot of people to eliminate sugar and salt as well. Because salt's going to be retaining the fluids and things like that. So they do have salt in these recipe packages, you know, the, the, uh, um, the frozen foods. So this would not be a good choice for this uh, to try and lose weight. So we're very focused on, on lower caloric density foods. But there's no portion control. You're not counting calories. You're not counting carbs. You are absolutely um, eating. There is no hunger here. Okay. Because if I had to be hungry, I wouldn't have lasted. I would not have lost the weight because I, 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 and honey, can I eat? Let me tell you, I eat. Let me tell you. And when you see how much I eat, because I usually post, you know, and we have a Facebook group, Plant Based Westchester, and I pack my food. I carry my food. I carry a cooler with me at all times. And they call me the bag lady at school because I carry a cooler. I've got my briefcase. I got my purse, you know. So I, the bag lady, you know, I, you know, you can hear me clunking down the hall with my, you know, my, my clean canteens, clunk, 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 clunk as they go through. But I carry my food, my drink with me at all times. And I usually post a picture when I get to school. I'll take whatever I'm eating for my main meal and put it into the mini hot logic and start heating it up. But before I do that, I'll take a picture of my food and say, here's what I'm eating today, you know, and then, and I'm boring. I eat, you know, I'll, I'll batch cook on the weekends and then pretty much it's almost like the same picture every day. I might, my fruit might change, you know, or whatever, but I'm pretty boring and, you know, keep your food boring and your life exciting. <laughs> I like that. Keep your food boring and your life exciting. And you guys, we didn't even really talk about uh, that. That Jean is actually she has a PhD. She teaches uh, environmental science and biology. What, what is it you teach? Because I, I mean, it's chemistry so in primarily. line with what. Oh yeah, what? chemistry. Chemistry is my my main background, and then environmental science. I've taught before. I'm not teaching that this year. But biology as well. I mean, I've taught everything. I've taught physics. I've taught, you know, nutrition. You name it, I've taught it. 
um, in in my world. Um, it, you know, I've been teaching for over 30 years. And I've taught, you know, physics, physical science, you name it, I've taught it, you know, in every genre, um, every science you can possibly think of, I, I've taught it somewhere along the line. Um, so it's but, fantastic that you're bringing these awesome teaching skills to what you're doing now. Exactly. Um, I don't think we covered, and, and of course, this is going to be um, for today on this course, uh, you know, but what is the pricing? And, and people may be watching this video later, uh, years from now, and it may be different. But but if someone wanted to sign up for that incredible yep. course that you mentioned, right. how many days is it? When do they well, start? Give me the details. I'm glad to. So glad you asked. <laughs> Uh, it's $97 for the enrollment fee. And that enrollment fee includes the monthly subscription for the month you sign up. So you can sign up anytime. So we start and then if you sign up, let's say mid month, then you get access. We roll you into the classroom and you get all the access to all the things that we posted from the beginning of the month. So you get the whole month, even though you sign up halfway through. So you can sign up anytime you want. And then if you want to continue in the program after that, it's just $27.95 a month. And then you can discontinue at any time or come wow. back in at any time. So some That's people, fantastic. yeah, yeah, All no, right. It's, right. Well, for I'm the amount that I was of, go ahead, go ahead. for the amount of education that you're getting, it's phenomenal, phenomenal price. I agree. I agree. And you guys get in on this class before it, the price goes up because it certainly might because they're offering tremendous value. I mean, this is way more education than I've been hearing about in, in most groups that cost a lot more than this. Yeah. So I see that we have a lot of people out there. If you guys have been getting um, as much, you know, getting value from this, which I'm sure you have, because Jean has shared a lot of golden nuggets with us. She shared her story. She shared some of her success habits and secrets and the trifecta approach and all about the course that she and her partner, Nancy Matthews, are doing. You know, share this with others. Just press that little share button underneath. Like, certainly comment. I see that your friend uh, Lisa Sin is out there. She says, hi, Jean. And with that, gosh, I could. I think you could tell I Jean and I could talk for days about food and how much we love food and oh, we yeah. love our new life and we love just the energy that we have and we want to share this with others. So part of my way of sharing is doing this show because I know there's just so much bad information out there about what we should be eating and what we should be doing. And so for Nancy and Jean to have the, um, wherewithal and the vision to call themselves the starch queens. It's like people don't want to eat, don't think they should eat starch. Well, we're going to call ourselves the starch queens because we know that those foods are actually really good, nourishing, healthy, satisfying, and they help people make that transition between eating the foods that are actually really bad for them, which our, our society is telling us are good for you, to these foods that we are being told are not good for us and they really are. So with that, give, do, do a final, give the websites, where should we look for you? How can we get in on this course? And, um, and then well, we'll- Just, just one quick thing about starches. There, it, you know, if you've not seen this, I did a fantastic interview with Andrew Spudfit Taylor. And if you don't know who he is, he is amazing. He basically realized he had a food addiction. And I'm the first one to go, hi, I'm Gene Schumacher. I'm a food addict. I'm the first one to to admit it because I am. There's no question. So he realized it and realized how, how it was affecting him. He was obese. He needed to lose weight. He suffered from major depression that he kept from his wife. And finally, he, it broke. It, it snapped him. And he he ate potatoes, only potatoes, for one year for one year and it broke his food addiction. And so, and he, and he lost a hundred pounds. I yes. think 110. <laughs> he was, it's amazing. So if you've not seen that, go to my YouTube channel and look for that interview with him. He is amazing. Amazing. And he eliminated his depression. It is an amazing story. Yeah. It's amazing story. So join us. You can go to starchqueens.net to get all that. You know, we shared a lot of information with you on that. There's a lot of resources out there on that website. I'm continually adding to that website and building and changing it. I've been working on that website for like five years and I just continue to add to it at all times. And then I just built the new one, starchqueens, sqweightloss.com. 
And that's where the weight loss program is. You can also find it on starchqueens.net, but we have the website starchqueenssqweightloss.com. So that's where the website is for the weight loss program. That's where the Q and A's, you can see those. They're on the, the link is there. You can see the actual page and go through and scroll down through the Q and A's that we've done. So, or you can go to the Starch Queens Facebook page and scroll through that, but I made it easier and put it there and then listed what we talked about, you know, kind of give you the, the Reader's Digest condensed version. So you can go through and, and, uh, if there's something of a topical interest to you, you know, what we talked about. And we also take questions, you know, again, through those, the, you know, Tuesday nights is talking Tuesdays and then Sunday nights, just for the people in our program, we've done webinars. Oh my gosh. These are some powerful, powerful topics that we've done uh, on these. And it's just for the people in the weight loss program. And we record them. So if you can't join us live, then because we usually have a Q&A session after we do the webinar, then uh, if you can't join us live, then I record it and then post it for our group. Oh, terrific. That's great. And I see that Nancy has shared uh, one of the um, websites, the sqweightloss.com. I shared starchqueens.net. I see that my good friend, Dr. Patricia McGuire, who is a medical doctor, she knows a thing or two about plant-based weight loss. She's a frequent guest on this program, and she has lost uh, 50 pounds, over 50 pounds. Wow. And she is also plant-based now for a little over a year, and she just you know, is amazed by the benefits of this as well. And she says she shared this with, with her Facebook friends already. So, and Lisa, who may also, Norby, Nancy said hello to Gracie. So is Lisa, Gracie? I don't know. Anyway, she Gracie says, is, Gracie's in the background. Oh, that's Gracie. Okay. That's hey, Gracie. Gracie. Okay. So Gracie. Lisa Sin says, this is the best weight loss program ever. Oh, wow. That's powerful. Thanks, Lisa. She's oh been gosh. doing amazing. She has been, she's been in our pro since she was, she started with us in the 10 day challenges and then joined us in the weight loss program. And she has done a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I mean, every month it's, she's, she's losing more and more and learning and educating herself. And, you know, every day she makes these comments because the more you start to put into educating yourself, because nobody's going to do this. Nobody's going to do this for you. You have to take control of your health destiny because what are you going to do you go to the doctor what do you get 10 minutes with him and you're going to walk out with a prescription for whatever ails you they're not going to the root cause of whatever is causing your problems yeah because they don't know they are they're not trained um, they're most not. doctors in this country today take almost no nutrition classes most of them take none and mm -hmm. some take a teeny tiny bit and, Which I, don't, uh, I, I don't get that I don't get that. I mean, if you're driving an Indy 500 race car, you're going to know the exact perfect fuel ratio that's going to make that machine run at its peak performance. But yeah, the human body? Your car. I think about my, well, my name is Car, and I think about the body as a car a lot. Yeah, you can have the best oil, the best kind of gasoline. You're going to make sure that the, uh, the battery's charged and that you have the right kind of other fluids, transmission fluids. I'm not going to get into all that, but you know what? I, I know what you're saying. But a doctor Alrighty. doesn't even oh. focus on the food that's driving us, the fuel that is running us. There, there, there are no questions about that. None. None. Anyway. You are right. All right. Well, let me just wrap up. Uh, Nancy says, uh, great interview, ladies. Lisa says, 30 pounds and going down. It's the Woo! support and education. It works. Well, with that, I can, you know, I think that's a fabulous way to end it. And we will, are going to close our broadcast. Keep those questions coming. Go and talk to Nancy and to Jean and get your life transformed. Uh, you know, they are fantastic people to get to know. They have benefited me and my life so much just knowing them and I know that they're going to really help you a lot too so with that be healthy and be happy